was either this or something else entirely, and God hated me today, so suffer. The makers of Charms Pops have helped make this film for you. It's our way of thanking you for making Charms America's most popular pops. I prefer my Charms Lucky and from a cartoon leprechaun. Jesus, what was in the weed I smoked? Hear that, or the driver's one sick freak. Hi, Jackie. Hi. Who's your friend? I oh, don't know, Christine's last successful spinoff. Did you get that? Oh, the bottom of the Cracker Jack box next to a Coupe de Ville. My boy, Jackie. Oh, what a kid. I bet you go on dating shows to find potential say, murder victims. Daddy, look what I brought home, a snapping turtle. <laughs> Not Jackie. He brought home a school bus. A great big yellow fellow. Other parents might have been shaken. Other parents Not aren't two classes in at three in the afternoon. A school bus? Jackie, nobody brings home a school bus for a pet. Well, just follow me home. Well, Tell it to the judge. To find the rightful owner. I mean, where would we keep it? How can I afford another engine to feed? No luck. Nobody's lost a school bus. They keep Anybody laughing and telling me to stop huffing paint thinner. I mean, it's just too big, too yellow to go unnoticed. Can I keep it, Dad? It's a great effect. Sir? May I keep it? Sure you can. I'll help you. Wow. Wait until the other kids hear about this. Yeah, Jackie. Especially that one fat kid who keeps finding cops yeah. in the Southwest. Well, I guess you can keep the big yellow fella, son. You promised to learn all there is to know about the care, feeding, and kind treatment of school buses. I'm sure we'll learn in the next 13 minutes, or not. <laughs> well, who else? <laughs> Your mother. I get to keep you, big yellow fellow. Eh, yeah, Miatas are cuter. Is it presenting its asshole to us? Are we treating the back emergency door as the asshole? All sorts of things you have to know about school buses, son. Let's get on, I want to ride. Hold it, some of the things you need to know have to do with what happens before you get on. Like making sure you're on time for your bus in the morning when you're going to school. The big yellow fellow hates to be late. So give yourself plenty of time to get up, get dressed, and have breakfast. Gonna need five shots of tequila to drown out this morning zoo radio. If you have to walk along the road to your bus stop. Remain on the left side of the road, facing the traffic, and stay on the sidewalk or path while you're waiting for your bus. Sentient stay vehicles can street. sense idiocy street and will strike the dumbest ones first. For you to wait. We don't want you hurt. Okay, now I'm on the left side of the street, but here comes my big yellow fellow on the right side. That is a problem. We'll have to cross the street. Now let's make sure that we look both ways before crossing. Or you could be already the at the right hand side? Good question. Be certain that it has, and be sure that all the traffic has stopped. And aren't driven Great. by impatient fucks. That's a pretty big bus, Dad. Should I go in front of it, behind it, or under it? In front, always. If and Christmas sure vacation taught me anything. Oh, and if you drop anything underneath or in front of the bus, tell the driver before you get it. Say, look who's driving today. Mom! Barely two minutes in and Mom's making moves. Dad's gonna get cut so bad by a huge commercial vehicle. Gee, if Mom can drive the bus, I guess anyone can. Just don't ask me to parallel park. Not just anyone can be a professional school bus driver. It takes many hours of driver training, a physical examination, and first aid study. And tons of tolerance to not hit the bottle before the route. Right now you're right signal. Well, if she doesn't get up, you've definitely failed. Not pictured here, the entire LAPD fleet behind them. Your school bus driver wants to get you from home to school and back safely. After that, you're on your own, kid. Attention to the driving. But what can a little fellow like me do to help big people like you drive a bus? Don't talk too loud. Huh? 
Can't hear you, Mom. Sorry, let me turn on the alcohol. <coughs> the bus driver. It's especially important to be quiet at railroad crossings so the driver can hear if a train is near. Rejected opening scenes from Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. Then when may I talk to my driver? Saying good morning is a nice way to start. Nice game, Trophy driver. driver. Thanks, I hit it this morning. Seen any damage to the bus, anything torn or broken, or if there's anything left behind. If you want to open a window on the bus, be sure to ask the driver for permission. Close it! You're letting the heat uh, out! It's cold! Uh, got a problem. What's that? Well, what if a little fellow like me, riding a big yellow fellow like this, needs to talk to someone, and the driver's busy? Enough Sometimes with the softball sir, questions! What about Hunter Biden's laptop? Help. Your dad is here to tell you a little bit more about riding a school bus. We want to make sure you stay safe on the bus, Jackie. Remember, keep your head, hands, and arms inside the bus. Put you all your hands on my eyes can see. If they're outside. You kids, be quiet. Sit down. Get your heads and arms back inside that bus. Now I know that peasant and he bought a Tesla, but if any of y'all die, they're gonna hang me on a rope. Damn white cracker kid's gonna get me killed. You know, there's something else that should stay inside the bus. And that's anything you bring on board. Don't throw things out the windows. As tempting as it might be to just mine. lose your homework and assignment to not flunk it. So I'll just toss it to him. And no. Throwing any kind of object at the bus window can be very dangerous and is always against school rules. Especially in Texas crash, where littering gets you tailed so by you fighter jets. Bus and take it to a wastebasket. And don't throw things at the bus either. A snowball or a rock isn't funny if the driver's distracted and loses control. I bet the, the stunt driver was anticipating a rollover for an exciting car chase this morning. So drop the snowball and the rocks. And don't bring any snow, sticky things, loose foods, or anything else that could spill, melt, or stick to the seats or floor. Maybe if I'm not a fireman, astronaut, or president of the United States, I might decide to be a school bus driver. Kid, you're gonna grow up back lame back as hell. hell. But don't forget, drivers have important responsibilities. Accidents can happen. On the bus should be a first aid kit, fire extinguisher, flags, and reflector. Hey guys, Chris Fix here, and today we're gonna fix the bus. Out you go through the poop chute. Practice drills should be held by the school to help children know the best way to leave a bus in case of trouble. Or if you wanna easily get into trouble trying to leave early. The driver will usually be the last person off the bus to see that no one is left behind. Don't give up the bus! Well, I guess I know everything now, right? The yellow fellow and I will get along just fine. It might be true, Jackie, if you were the only passenger. Joey, Millie, Billy, and Lily. On Dasher, Freddy, on Dancer, Ed, on Prancer, Ed, and Fred Vixen. And All of you are riding with me? Lots of children ride the big yellow fellow. That's why we have rules, to keep everyone safe and happy. And Don't to prevent losses from bankrupt the school even there worse. There might not be room on the bus for you. If you have very large objects, ask someone to drive you to school. Keep the bus aisle clear of all objects. There is no we war in Bussing Zay. We fall on the way to a seat. Keep your books and legs out of the aisle. We want to keep the aisle clear in case of emergencies. Also, boys and girls should always stay behind these bars. Face the music, kid. Band players rarely get laid, so stop trying. Don't try to do your homework on the bus. You may hurt yourself and somebody else with pens and pencils. When you're on the bus, act as if you're in the classroom. Be full this of resentment of this torturous system. Ah! Sit in your seat until the bus comes to a complete stop. And if somebody does misbehave and doesn't follow the rules, talk to the driver later. Snitches get stitches, Billy! On today's Magic School Bus, Miss Frizzle detours through Deliverance. You know, just as there are rules for getting on the Big Yellow Fellow, there are some things to do when you get on. 
Hey, oh, Steve, you got covered in snot. And watch your step. When you get off, walk away from the bus, about ten steps ahead of it, along the edge of the road. Give me Stay ten steps, give me ten so steps, mister, and you'll never time. see me no Hi, more. There sure is a lot of things about just to get a ride to school. The most important things are to treat others thoughtfully, sit quietly, and listen to your driver. Well, having a big yellow fellow of my own seems unfair. I mean, some children might not even get to school because of me. With guest appearance by Crazy Ralph from Friday the 13th. Who's a good little puppy that I'm going to be turning into a fur coat? Who's a good boy? How entitled do you gotta be to have your own school bus and driver as a pet? How many times now have you done this to me? Next time, I'll take away your key for a week. Uh, this bus belongs to you, sir? Indeed it does. And well, I mean, my taxpayer money paid for the damn thing, didn't it? Taking these puppies. I'm glad you said it. I never could get it all out. I run on a beat in school, and these are my students. Uh, well, sir, my son Jackie's become quite attached to your bus. We're all going to miss it. The lad recovered today. I know he'll miss it. Say. <laughs> oh, my God. This guy's a legend. He knows it's a shitty it. safety film, and well, he'll get he Jack off, but he sure ain't sleepwalking and through it. Yeah. Now, remember, Jackie, enjoy him, take care of him, but don't take him on your real school bus. Pets, stay at home. And thank you for taking care of my big yellow fellow. <laughs> come along, students. Come along. Yeah, might as well. You can't enter a school bus into Westminster Kennel Club anyway. Come along, students. Come along. Come along, students. Come along. Come along. Let's go. Dad, is he on the sex offender registry? Oh, might as well be, just so we stay away from all of us. Dad, can you and Mom teach me how to take care of my dog? The way you showed me about the school bus? You bet we can, Jackie. But well, it's easy. You know, Just substitute the motor oil like for puppy chow. Can be almost as much work as taking care of all the lives of a busload of school children. When you wish upon a star. The Big Yellow Fellow has been brought to you by Charms, America's most popular pups. We hope you found it informative and enjoyable. Nope, it's why I made jokes all throughout it. Uh, 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 sorry, I'm having a uh, seizure. <laughs>